Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Sophia. She was seven years old and full of ideas. Sophia loved nature and going for walks in the woods behind her house. She spent a lot of time there, talking to the bugs and birds and plants. They seemed to understand her. She liked being away from the busy, noisy, scary world. The woods were peaceful and quiet, as though time didn't exist. She wished the real world was like this and wondered if she was the only one who felt that way. One day, while walking through the woods with her older brother, Sophia came across a large rock and decided to sit down for a minute. There was a symbol on the rock. It seemed so familiar, but she wasn't sure why. She closed her eyes and tried to remember. Welcome back. Sophia opened her eyes. Everything was brighter and the sun was out even though it had been cloudy all day. And everything had glowing colours around them. A strange head suddenly popped out of the shrubs. Woohoo, Sophia! She froze. It was a monkey. Oh, phew. Hello there, Mr. Um. The name's Wolfgang. We've met before. I heard you're coming to visit again. We've all been very excited to see you. Sophia was confused. We? Again? Yes, everyone from the forest. Um, I'd really love to, but it was nearly dark when I sat on the rock a few minutes ago, and my brother may get worried. Oh, nothing to be worried about. Time doesn't exist here. It's kind of hard for humans to understand. Here we do have what you call night and day, but that's just because we like it that way. I was instructed to greet you, but you'll have to continue on without me. Don't worry, you've been here before. you remember more as you go along. She felt relieved, but still a little confused. She thought to herself, a magical forest where there's no time? Yes, he replied. To us it is normal, to humans it seems magical, so that's why we call it that. There is no sadness here, and everything lives forever. We wish your world was peaceful like ours. But that is a part of why you are here, and why you are there. It will make sense in no time. Wolfgang winked at her and went on his way. Sophia wanted to know more, but she was a little unsettled that he had read her mind. She started walking, not sure of where to go. She was kicking stones along the way, passing the biggest tree she had ever seen. Suddenly, the tree talked and said, Don't scare the animals. Sophia froze. Oh, I forgot that you don't remember being here. It was just a joke. Nothing that lives here gets scared because they know they can't be harmed. You and I used to play a lot of pranks on each other. To get where you are going, you will need to cross over that bridge up ahead. You are almost there. Oh, and my name is Spikey, by the way. I'm guessing you forgot that too. He winked. Sophia had a plant in her house named Spikey, and now she understood why. She smiled and thanked him and continued on. Sophia got to the bridge and froze. It was all worn and creaky, and there was a huge drop. All of a sudden, a horse with wings appeared and hovered by the bridge. Don't be scared, Sophia. You have to cross the bridge yourself to get to the other side. I cannot take you there, but I'll be here for you while you cross. And if anything happens, I will catch you. My name is Sparkle Mane, and we used to fly together. Sophia closed her eyes and took a few steps while holding the rails tightly. Nothing happened. She kept going until a gush of wind rocked the bridge and she fell down. She froze while the wind howled and cried to go back, but the horse encouraged her to get back on her feet. She got back up and kept going even though she was terrified. As soon as she stepped over to the other side, the wind stopped. The horse smiled and winked at her before disappearing. She realised that she had been afraid for no reason and suddenly transformed back to her true self. She was no longer a scared little girl but a beautiful white fairy that shone brightly like the sun. There you are, silly goose. Her heart warmed. She remembered that voice. Moon Bear! She ran and hugged him tightly for what felt like forever. She didn't want to go back to the other world and started to cry, turning back into the little child. I missed you too. Please don't cry. Here you go. Take this. It'll make it easy to return and remember me. He handed her an engraved stone. Remember to always keep love in your heart and that there is nothing to be afraid of. Keep being kind and give to others and share the secrets of the forest. 
We love you so very much and remember that I am always with you no matter where you are. She opened her eyes and suddenly she was back at the rock. Are you going to sit there forever? Her brother asked. She looked down and opened her hand. There was a special stone. Sophia held it to her heart and smiled. A bright white glow formed around her. She knew that what she had to do and was no longer afraid of the scary, busy world. One day it would become just like the forest. A place of love where nobody is sad or afraid.